Hi everyone, it's Charlotte here today and we're going to be doing the F10 disinfectant video. So this is all going to be about a type of disinfectant that I found when the girls, my original trio, had fungal infection. So this was recommended to me online from many different sources, I did a lot of research on this and it is a type of disinfectant that you can either use on just a regular basis or you can dilute it or concentrate it further and then have it for more intense kind of cleaning. So this is the bottle that it comes in and you can also get it in ready-made bottles but I normally get it in the concentrate and I normally get it in the smallest one because it goes so so far and it will last you forever so well technically not forever but definitely at least like a year or so so I use this all the time now I have switched from just normal pet shop disinfectant which I find a lot of them have scents and I worry a bit too much about the scent with the guinea pigs this one does have a slight scent but the scent kind of like evaporates rather quickly so there's no like long lasting smell to it so it's, I find it really, really good. It's basically, it's safe for all pets. I mean, you can use it for dogs, parrots, reptiles, cats, guinea pigs, and rabbits, and rats, and all that. So really all animals. And it is absolutely amazing. It's non-toxic, non-irritating, non-corrosive, and biodegradable. And it is the F10SC Veterinary Disinfectant. Now, you can get this in different strengths and everything, and like I said, you can also get it already diluted in spray bottles. You can also get it in wipes and I think hand disinfectants and things like that. So if you're like, if you're working at a vet's or something and you're having to quarantine animals or you've got to quarantine an animal at home because it's got a really illness that could easily spread and then this is what you really want to be using. It is so, so good and I can't praise it enough. I'm not sponsored by this or anything, I've had no affiliation with it, it's just I absolutely adore this stuff. Now, you can dilute it in like three different ways, so you can either, for general disinfection, um, just to kill normal bacteria and yeast, it is 1 to 500, so 2 mils in 1 litre of water, and I want to just stress that this is 100 mils, so this is the, the least, and for a half a litre, no, 1 litre is 2 mils. So you can tell that this is going to go a long way, this is going to make 50 litres worth of just normal disinfectant. So then the high level disinfection, which is to kill bacteria, yeast, fungi and most viruses, which is what I used, um, was 4 mils in 1 litre. So again, that's still I think 25 litres of disinfectant and we definitely don't go through 25 litres. Um, for you know a long long time then there's uh, the last one which is for use against the most resistant viruses you know parvovirus and things like that in dogs which is 8 mil in 1 litre so again that's slightly less but it goes so so far now I am going to show you how I dilute this and it, I mean it's relatively simple like I said in the previous clip when I first introduced it I said that this would last me well over a year. I haven't actually calculated how much it would last me, but I'd have to do that for you. Um, but this would last me a long, long time, even with two cages worth. So you might be wondering, well, will it last that long? The actual shelf life for this whole concentrate is four years. So you've definitely got long enough to use it. And also, once you've diluted it into a bottle, which we're going to do just in a second, it should last at least six months. So it's a real versatile kind of um, product and also you can use it to fog mist rooms so if there's a lot of infection in there say fungal for instance spores it in the air so you want to be able to fog the room just a slight amount to make sure that the disinfectant will kill it so it's a real real great little disinfectant now the actual bottle as you've seen in the previous clips has this like extra little cap bit so all you do with this is once the cap is open, you push on the main bottle and the liquid will come up all the way and into this reservoir. So you want to make sure you've got enough mils in there for whatever you want and you don't want to put too many in because otherwise you can't even guess it again. So I've got in there about two mils from last time because I got five mils out. So 
we've got roughly about two mils which is what we want because I want to do the middle grade disinfectant for this so this requires four mils per litre however this bottle is actually 500 millilitres in capacity so normally the bottles when you get them come up to about there so I'm going to roughly kind of guess for there but it doesn't have to be exact obviously if you want it to be exact then you would measure it out with a proper measuring jug however I'm not really that bothered about it so we're not like we're fighting a disease at the moment so I'm going to fill it up to where I think it should be okay so I'm going to have it to about there and then I'm just going to get to the bottle of F10 just double check in the light I like to generally do and then I'm just going to pop these mills in and once you do that the the liquid from this reservoir will not come out to this one so you're absolutely safe in now you could get a just a normal um, spray bottle and that would work just as well I'll just use this one because we used to use this disinfectant but this was about three pounds a bottle this disinfectant and as you can see that's two mils from there to do that and that's the middle grade disinfectant so this is going to last a hell of a lot longer I forgot to mention also that in the first part of this video that these range from around £10 to £11 or maybe a few pounds out I normally get them on eBay I find them the cheapest or Amazon there's also Viavet I believe that does it and I'm sure a lot of other online pet stores do it it's quite a common disinfectant here in the UK but um, I'm not sure if it's available worldwide, unfortunately. I'm sure there is some substitute in your country. Screw that on, and once you've screwed that on, you just want to give it a shake. Make all that disinfectant is nice and mixed with it. And as you can see, it has definitely mixed because the bubble's coming up. And yeah, so that's really it for the demonstration. That's all. I'm not going to show you how I spray it because there's no real point because I think everyone knows how to spray disinfectant and yeah you just leave it there for a little bit and then you wipe it up and that's it so we'll go back and uh finish the video so i've got daphne out to say goodbye to you all she is my little sweet little lump here aren't you honey but um, <laughs> yeah anyway so i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that you found it useful i have mentioned f10 in many other videos and i've been meaning to do this video to kind of summarize it and also explain how i dilute it and everything so there you go, but I hope you find it useful and yeah, so thank you very much for watching and I shall speak to you in my next one. Bye everyone!